What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and in today's video I will be showing you how you can enable and use remote play on your iOS device for your Xbox console. So this will allow you to play your Xbox from anywhere. You can play games on your Xbox through remote play through your phone anywhere. Now I tested this extensively over the weekend and it worked surprisingly well and it's honestly such a fantastic feature and I can't wait to see more of the community utilize this. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to do it through iOS. I'll be showing you how you can like link your controller to your phone or any iOS device through Bluetooth, as well as through the Xbox app on iOS, of how to set this all up and how to play games remotely through your phone and through your Xbox anywhere in the world. There will be timestamps in the description so you can skip around if you'd like, but let's get started. On your iOS device, you're going to want to download and open the Xbox app. And then from there, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the top right and click this button. And from there, you might already have a system set up, but I'll be showing you how you can set one up as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're gonna to wanna to hit set up a console. And then from there, since we're not technically setting up a new Xbox, we're gonna be setting up an Xbox that I've already signed into and I've already set up. We're gonna hit add an existing console. So from here, it's going to want us to turn on remote features and we're just going to hit next. And then as it says here, turn on your console and sign in with your account. So here on my Xbox, I'm going to sign into my account. And now that I'm signed in on my system, it says press enable on your console to get connected. So nothing has shown up on my system. So I'm gonna go into settings. And then from here, I'm gonna go down to devices and connections, and then down to remote features. And I'm gonna hit enable remote features. Now it's gonna run a little test going over your network settings and stuff because your network has to be up to a certain par in order to do this. And here we go. It says you're good to go and it gives you a details on exactly what your system needs. So for the connection, we need an open NAT type. Now that is important. You have to have an open NAT type. It says your upstream bandwidth needs to be over nine megabits a second. So you need to have over nine megabits a second upload speed. Your network latency must be less than 60 milliseconds, which honestly isn't that hard to get. For network type, my console right here is wireless and it will work if you're playing wireless, but you should probably be plugging in through ethernet if you're trying to do this, it'll give you better latency as well as more stability with your connection. It says wireless interference on your home network may get in the way of playing remotely. My outboard port is open. As for my controller, I have a Bluetooth controller is confirmed and it says controller firmware is up to date and your system has to be on the power setting for instant on. So we're just gonna hit next and now it wants us to go back over to our phone, but it says here remote play works best on a wired or five gigahertz wireless connection. So keep that in mind. So now our system should show up in the Xbox app. Here it says, Xbox Series X console on. And now before we proceed, we're going to want to link the controller to the phone. So on iOS, you wanna go into settings, then into Bluetooth. So in order to set up a new controller on your iOS device, you're going to want to hold the power button and the sync button on your controller and hold them down until the Xbox button starts blinking repeatedly. And then we're going to need to wait for it to show up under the Bluetooth settings on your iOS device. And there it is, Xbox Elite wireless controller. And then from there, we're going to connect to the controller from your iOS device. Now it may take a moment, but there we go. Now it is connected. Now from here, we can go back into the Xbox app. And once we're back in the Xbox app, we're going to want to click that top button, remote play on this device. Then it will take you through a little short thing while it connects to the console. And since my controller is linked to the phone, I can be anywhere technically in the world so long as I have a connection. Since your controller is linked to your phone, I tested this earlier this week. I spent Christmas with my family like 100 miles away from my house and I had my controller connected to my phone and I was able to play games on my Xbox over 100 miles away. And now here we are playing a game on my Xbox Series X through my phone. Now, since this is connected to my phone, there is a little bit of latency because the controller is connected to my phone and the phone has to connect all the way to my Xbox. Now, I am playing this in my house just a couple feet from my Xbox and the latency is honestly not bad. The latency is actually pretty good if you're playing on the same Wi-Fi connection or the same network connection. So, in theory, I could say be like in my bathroom, you know, I could be on the toilet 
and I could just have my phone in a controller and I could be playing a game on the toilet without even looking at my screen just by looking at my phone and having a controller linked to the phone. And so as I mentioned, the latency is not bad when you're connected to the same network. It's just when you are playing outside of your network that things kind of start to get a little rough. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I was playing uh, like over 100 miles away from my Xbox and I was able to actually play games. Now, I would not recommend trying to play online multiplayer games like shooters, but like here with LEGO Jurassic World, I was actually able to play this and it honestly, like it felt pretty good. Now there was a little bit of noticeable latency, but I feel like after a few minutes, you get used to it. The controls and the responsiveness are, they're pretty good. But like I said, I probably wouldn't play online multiplayer games. It's just a little too much when you're playing, you know, not on your same local network. There's just a little too much latency. But I think I'll be covering latency and, uh, and more details on that in a separate video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I'll be going over latency, exact number figures, and just more details on actually playing remotely. And when I mean remotely, I mean like 100 miles away or so. But that's pretty much it. This is such a great feature and I really enjoy this. I mean, in theory, this also frees up like your TV or something. So if you're in like a shared household or something and somebody wants to be watching TV, you know, you can still play Xbox. You can still play video games. You can just play it off your phone too. Too. and uh, also all the sound comes through your phone as well so like I was able to you know spend part of my Christmas break I had just my airpods in my phone and my controller and able to play games heck I mean you can even play games on like a road trip or something you know you can just put in headphones and have your controller right there you can be playing Xbox while you're on a road trip dude it's actually so sick but yeah that's pretty much it guys that is how you enable and you use remote play on your Xbox system. Now this works on Xbox One, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, and yeah, the best thing I could recommend for this is just make sure whatever console you're connecting to, make sure it is plugged in through Ethernet. Now that is another thing I will be testing as well, is I will be testing out Ethernet versus a wireless connection and uh, going over different latency numbers for that. So once again, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, but that's it. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be glad to help you guys out. Plus we got an amazing community here that I'm sure somebody in the community will be able to answer your questions. But that's pretty much it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful. This is such an awesome feature. It allows you to play your Xbox anywhere, dude. That's so awesome, straight from your phone. And, uh, and dude, this is seriously gonna change so many things. Like, heck, I could be at work on my lunch break and I could be playing Xbox. Like, that is just such a crazy, crazy thing for me. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you in the next video.